Welcome back to my channel. So last video, I talked about reasons that people might leave a partner that they love and what you can do about it, A, to prevent another person from leaving, but also to help you validate reasons that you may have left yourself so you can start shifting that and asking for something new in your relationship. But today, one of the tips I had shared was about invalidation and how people leave because they don't feel respected or they don't feel validated by their partner. Today, I wanted to go deeper into that for you because there are things that you should never say to your partner that can completely invalidate them that you might not even be aware of. So let's run the show reel. Have you ever come home from a day of work being super frustrated by maybe what your coworkers did or didn't do or what your boss did or didn't do? And somebody says to you, eh, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Like, isn't that infuriating to hear? Like, as if your experience, that you should not be feeling what you're feeling, that your experience doesn't matter because something could have been worse in the situation something you never ever want to say to your partner or really even your friends. Instead, show some reflective, reflective listening like, wow, that sounds like that was really frustrating for you. Or wow, it's really bad that your boss treats you that way. Well, what are you going to do about it? And start asking questions instead of comparing something that could have happened that would have been worse because that doesn't make anybody feel better. Number two, don't tell people you probably just misunderstood. I'm sure it wasn't that big of a deal. Our brains look back at past events to decide how we're going to interact emotionally and psychologically to current events. So for example, if I felt bullied or put down by my boss when I was 16 years old, that is going to inform how I hear my boss talking to me now. And the same thing goes with your partner and with your relationship and with you, actually, to be honest. So when we tell people, like, maybe you misunderstood or I'm sure it wasn't that bad. I'm sure you're, I'm sure you're exaggerating. What you're doing is, A, you're invalidating their experience once again. But also, you're missing the filter that they may be coming through, which is, bosses always treat me poorly or... Um, I'm not valuable enough for my boss or whatever it is that their filter is coming through that that is encouraging them to react differently in this situation or react in a similar pattern in this situation. However, telling them that it's not that bad, or you must have misunderstood, any of those things really once again takes away their power, takes away their ability to feel emotion. Instead, come with empathy, with compassion. And you can even point it out to them really gently, like, it sounds like you have a lot of struggles with your bosses in your life. Is this a pattern that maybe we can look at and shift? Like, what do you need from your boss to feel validated? What do you need from your boss in order to not get upset? Or whatever, and help them find solutions instead of judging the level of feeling or not feeling that they have. And next on the list is just get over it. If I could just get over something, I'd get over it, don't you think? I mean, if someone told you like, oh, just pull up your bootstraps, you'll be fine. Just get over it. Stop thinking about it. You don't need to worry about that. You're making too big of a deal of it. All of these things really invalidate an individual. Basically, what you're saying is your analysis of the situation is wrong. Um, how you're interacting with the situation is inappropriate. It tells them that they must not know what they're talking about or that the impact on them isn't as much or shouldn't be as much as what they're experiencing. Right? So all of these ways invalidate your partner and let them know or your friends, whoever, right? I mean, we, can, we, do, we use these phrases all the time with our partners, with our friends, with our family. And all of these things really show the other people like, well, I don't have any compassion or empathy for you. I don't actually really care what you're going through. I don't want to listen to you whine anymore. So why don't you just deal with it on your own? Right? And maybe there are times where you are a little bit tired of hearing them talk about the same thing over and over and over again. But telling someone to get over it, it's not going to be helpful. It's not going to make them want to talk to you or be bonded to you anymore. 
So think about other constructive ways that you can do that. Like, hey, that sounds like you're really struggling with that. I've heard you talk about it multiple times. Have you ever thought about going to a healer, going to a counselor, going to a psychologist to talk through this? Have you ever read this book? Like, give them a resource. Have you ever, like perhaps it might be helpful for you to meditate. Would you like some suggestions on how we can help ease this pain for you? Right, so validating them what they're experiencing, but also saying like, hey, would you like some support in actually moving through this long term? I know this great emotional freedom techniques practitioner. I know this great coach. I know this counselor. I can help you find the resources that you need. I know this great book, right? This was really helpful for me when I was going through something similar. So asking permission first, like, can I share with you my experience or can I share with you something that might be helpful? Then they say yes also, and then they can't get angry at you for giving them advice that they may or may not want. So instead of just invalidating them, telling them to get over it, telling them to move through it, ask like, hey, sounds like that's really challenging for you. Can I offer a couple of suggestions? And then when they say yes, now the door is open for you to give whatever advice, whatever support you need. And maybe even to gently say like, I'm really worried about you because you've talked about this Fifth side of B just landed on me. I was like, ah! um, you've talked about this 15 or 20 times. And I really want to make sure that I help support you in getting through this so it doesn't weigh so heavy and stress you out on your mind for so long. So there are just three simple things to avoid saying to your partner. Well, I mean, I kind of threw in similar synonyms around, but please try to avoid saying these to people, right? It's psychological invalidation, right? It's actually telling them that they don't matter, that what they feel don't ma doesn't matter, and how their brain accesses things don't matter. And that's not what you want to do to someone you love, right? So write in your comments, what are other things that people have said to you that drive you crazy or that make you feel invalidated? I'd love to hear in the comments below. Please subscribe and just remember that you are loved, you're loving, and you are lovable. Until next time, take care.